Hey you guys, welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. This channel is going to be all about 3D printing. I recently did buy a Bamboo Lab P1P 3D printer and so far this printer has been amazing. It's been very easy to use. I've had some successful printing. I've cre created some crazy models, you know, plant pots. I'm just so amazed how a printer can print something like this. Um, welcome to the 21st century, I guess. So, like I said again, this uh, this channel is going to be all about 3D printing. I'm also starting an Etsy shop and I'm going to bring you guys with me in this journey so you guys can see how I can grow my business um, from 3D printing. Um, I do wanna give you guys a quick look uh, of my 3D printer and my setup how I have it set up so far. Again, it's nothing crazy. I only have one printer. I'm still experimenting with um, everything that I currently have. I did buy a few filaments. So let me go ahead and give you guys a tour of my setup. Okay, so here is my Bamboo Lab P13 uh, 3D printer. I wanted to get the AMS system, but as a beginner, I don't want to spend too much money right away. I want to see what I can do with a printer like this and then let my 3D models or my business pay for the a AMS system. Um, so as you can see, I have, I did do some research um, on some filament dryers, um, which is very much needed. I got it from Creality, um, which was a fair deal. Um, and then, like I said, this is my only printer. Um, I do want to show you guys some other filaments that I have. So this is in the closet. Um, I have a few filaments here um, with different colors. But again, I don't know which filaments I will be using for all my 3D printing. So I got a few colors so that I can test them out. I also went ahead and bought some essential tools that I thought would be helpful when it comes to 3D printing. The first thing I bought was this wire cutter, um, very cheap um, on Amazon. Um, the next thing I got was these um, digital calipers. If you are 3D designing things on your own or you want to uh, modify something, a digital caliper, something like this comes in very handy. I kid you not. I've uh, tried to go to Walmart, they didn't have this. Um, I went and looked all over the place for something like this. I ended up finding one in Home Depot, um, which came in handy. So I highly, highly, highly recommend one of these if you guys are going to 3D print and model your own uh, 3D designs. Another thing I got, I think everybody has some sort of measuring tape. Um, I found this for a dollar um, when I was checking out. I was like, why not? Um, very small. I can put it in my, leave it in my pocket or just hang it somewhere, um, very convenient. And the last thing I thought would come in handy is like a mini drill. Um, if I needed to fix anything or make the surface smoother or something, if something happens with my 3D printing, I haven't had to use one of these or use this yet, but um, if I ever do, I know I have something that can um, fix my issue or whatever. It did come with a lot of extra stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this to make uh, the surface smoother. Um, it do come with um, other attachments. As you can see here, a bunch of things. I don't know what all of them do, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Here's a quick look of my Etsy shop. I opened this account up a couple of days ago. I do have few listings up as well, but I have no sale, which I'm not surprised because I haven't done any sort of marketing. So if I go to listing here, as you can see, I have three listings up. Um, the reason why I haven't done any marketing, that's because Etsy doesn't allow you to start marketing right away. So as you can see, if I go to marketing right here, or Etsy ads, I have to wait four more days to start advertising on Etsy. When I first opened up the account, I believe it was eight days I had to wait. So that's what I'm waiting on right now. So as of right now, I'm working on a couple 
uh, 3D models that I would like to design. I do have some ideas and I'm working on those ideas in Tinkercad. If you don't know what Tinkercad is, it is a 3D modeling platform. It's totally web-based. Um, you All you have to do is sign up for uh, the account. And if you know what you're doing, it's completely free. And I highly recommend if you just want to mess around and see what it's like to 3D model something. And that brings me towards the end of my video. If you're still here, thank you so, so much for staying this long to watch till the end of my video. I am going to upload more videos like this. Keep you guys updated how my business is running, what am I doing, so you guys can learn from my mistakes and we can grow this community as big as possible. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure to go ahead and click on the subscribe button. That way you guys get notified when I upload my next video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.